Hey, how's it going, sex felines? My name is MCIK or CJ. Welcome everybody back to another Warframe video. Today we're gonna be doing a tutorial. I know I don't do a lot of these anymore, but I felt like it was my duty to inform the public, inform you felines, and inform anyone else in the Warframe community that does not know this. Now, of course, you guys can tell from the thumbnail already what we're gonna be talking about: how to get Arcwing weapons after update 19. Spectres of the Rail. So DE has changed this quite a bit. Previously, before this update came out, one Arcwing was out before update 19 part 2, Spectres of the Rail. The way you got Arcwing weapons was playing Arcwing missions. Certain missions would drop the rewards, kind of like the old Void used to do. You would run exterminates on Corpus missions, on Arcwing missions, and you would have a chance to get certain parts to certain weapons. And after you get all the parts, and you buy the blueprint from the market, you could build your Arcwing weapon. Well, now it's changed. And I think it's because a lot of people weren't fond of that method of farming weapons. There's a whole new way of getting weapons now. And it, in my opinion, it's much more simple. And it also will help the trading community out quite a bit. Seeing how the void the void parts and blueprints aren't going to be flowing through the chat, the trading chat as often now. So I think it's good that they added this way to get the Arcwing weapons. That was DE's original plan all along whenever they changed the void. They wanted they, they didn't like the idea of this the trading chat being just swamped with you know, want to sell prime blueprint, prime parts. That's what they, that's what they actually changed the void. If you guys didn't know. Anyway, moving on to the video. So I'm gonna show you guys and tell you guys exactly how to get each and every weapon, where to get all the parts for each weapon, and yeah, it's gonna be a dandy old time. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know because it's kind of self-explanatory. But this is also for new players. You know, because new players join the game, they finally get done with the, the arc ring mission and they want new arc ring weapons. So this is a tutorial for you guys or anyone. Just make sure you guys know that whenever I move on with this. Yeah, it's a little bit self-explanatory, but I'm letting you guys know. All right, so we're going to start off with the guns, and then after the guns are done, we're going to move on to the melee weapons. First off, the Velocitus. All right, so for the Velocitus, the blueprint is going to be obtained in the Tenno Lab research in your dojo. If you guys aren't in a dojo and you guys have the research done, grab your blueprint for 15,000 credits. And once you guys have your blueprint, I'm going to tell you guys how to get the parts now. So the new way to get parts for Arcwing weapons is going to be through the Syndicates as offerings that you can purchase for standing. Okay, so for the Velocitus Barrel, it's gonna be obtained on the Cephalon Suda Syndicate for 20,000 standing. So the barrel is gonna be on the Cephalon Suda Syndicate as an offering for 20,000 standing. Just keep in mind, guys, every single part that you're gonna be buying is gonna be 20,000 standing. And also, if you aren't a part of the Syndicate that's giving you these offerings that has the part you need, you can always buy these in the chat, in the trading chat. Because more than likely, someone else is a part of the Syndicate and has the part that you need, but you can buy these pretty cheap. They're only 20 standing, so they go pretty easily. The Velocitus Receiver is gonna be on Steel Meridian Syndicate. Last but not least, the stock is gonna be on the Redville Syndicate. Next off, the Syngas. So the blueprint can be picked up at the market for 35,000 credits. The barrel can be obtained on the Arbiters of Hexes Syndicate. The Receiver can be obtained on the Cephalon Suda Syndicate, and the stock can be obtained on the Parent Sequence Syndicate. It's going to be 45,000 credits to build. Also, it's going to take two Tellurium to build. The time to build is 12 hours. If you want to rush it, it's 50 Platinum. Down the list, we have the Fluxus. The Fluxus Blueprint can only be obtained in the Tenno Lab Research. For 15,000 credits, you can get the barrel on the Cephalon Suda Syndicate. The limbs can be obtained in the Red Veal Syndicate. And the stock can be obtained in the Steel Meridian Syndicate. It'll take 45,000 credits to build all of the parts. Two Argon Crystals, 12 hours. And of course, if you want to rush it, it's 50 Platinum. Moving down the list, once again, we have the Phaedra. The Phaedra blueprint can be obtained in the market for 30,000 credits. The barrel will be obtained in the Arbiters of Hexes Syndicate. The receiver can be obtained on the Parent Sequence Syndicate. And the stock can be obtained in the New Loco Syndicate. Credits to build will be 45,000, once again, 2 Tellurium, 12 hours, and 50 Platinum to rush. Next off, we have the Dual Dacurian. The blueprint will also be obtained from the market. There's actually only two parts to this one, surprisingly. But I do believe you have to get both of these twice. See, now there are two. The barrel can be obtained in the Arbors of Hexus, and the receivers can be obtained in the Cephalon Suda Syndicate. It'll take 45,000 credits to build, two control modules, 12 hours, and 50 platinum if you want to rush it. Coming in next, we have the Corvus. Now, surprisingly, this one is a little bit different. This one, you actually cannot obtain in Syndicate offerings, which is kind of weird, honestly. I don't even know why they did this for this one, but it is what it is. Nonetheless, I'll tell you guys how to get it. Of course, the blueprint will be obtained from the market for 35,000 credits. The barrel will be obtained on Neptune and on the mission Salacia. It's a defense, and you get this part on the Rotation C. All right, the receiver will be obtained on Uranus. 
Please don't make a fucking comment. It's just Uranus. Don't fucking make a comment. And on the mission, Kylus. It's an interception, and you will be able to get this part on the Rotation C. Last but not least, the stock will be obtained on Neptune. Also on the mission, Salacia, just like the barrel, and on the Rotation C. So uh, when you do this mission, Salacia on Neptune, you have a chance to get the stock or the barrel. So just keep doing it until you get both. And uh, yeah, you'll have all the parts to build the Corvus. It'll also take 45,000 credits to build, two Argon Crystals, 12 hours, and 50 Platinum if you want to rush. Next one is the Grattler. So you can get the Grattler's blueprint in the Grenier Lab Research in your dojo for 15,000 credits. Funny thing is, actually, there's no parts for this thing. The only thing you have to get is just all the materials that it says you need, which is 65,000 credits, 5 Tellurium, 6,000 Salvage, 3,500 Oxium, 1 Forma, and uh, yeah, that's actually about it. And the time to build is 24 hours. If you want to rush it, it's 35 Platinum. Okay, those are all done. Those are all of the... Guns, now I'm going to move on to the melees. First off, the Agaza. The blueprint will be obtained in the market for 35,000 credits. The blade will be obtained in the new Loka offerings in the Syndicate. The handle will be obtained in the Redville Syndicate. And the guard will be obtained in the Still Meridian Syndicate. It'll take 25,000 credits to build all of the parts, 12 hours. And if you want to rush, it'll be 50 platinum. Next off down the list is the caches. The blueprint will be obtained for 35,000 credits in the marketplace. The blade will be obtained in the Redville Syndicate, and the handle will be obtained in the Still Meridian Syndicate. It'll be 25,000 credits to build both the blade and the handle, three Tellarium, and if you want to rush, it'll be 50 Platinum. Next melee will be the Centaur. So, the Centaur, you can also get the blueprint from the market for 35,000 credits. The blade can be obtained in the Parent Sequence Syndicate, the Aegis can be obtained in the Arbiters of Hexus Syndicate, and the Handle can be obtained in the new Locust Syndicate. It'll be 25,000 credits to build, and 50 Platinum if you want to rush it. Next one down the list is the Wrathbone. You can obtain the blueprint for 35,000 credits in the market, and surprisingly, it's, this is going to sort of be like the same way with the Corvus. You can't get the parts in the Syndicates, but you can get them on certain missions, and the mission you're going to be able to get both the Handle and the Head on is going to be Galilea on Jupiter. It is a sabotage mission, and you have, a, you have a chance to get both of the parts, and you really only need the handle and the head, that's all you need. So just run that mission a couple times, and you might get both of these, hopefully in the first try. It'll be 25,000 credits to build, one head, one handle, 300 circuits, and if you want to rush it, it'll be 50 platinum. Next melee will be the Anorwix. You can also get this blueprint from the market for 35,000 credits. The blade will be obtained in the new Locust Syndicate, and the handle will be obtained in the parent sequence syndicate. It'll be 25,000 credits to build, two blades, one handle, three neurodes, 12 hours, and if you want to rush, of course, it'll be 50 platinum. The <laughs> next one we got here is the Nux. I guess this is fucking short for Knuckles. I, I, it makes sense, I guess. <laughs> so these actually don't have any parts, and the way you get the blueprint is from the Grenier Lab research. Yeah, so once you pick up the blueprint for 50,000 credits, the build requirements are 30,000 credits, 5 Detonite Injectors, 10 Gallium, 1 Forma, and surprisingly 1 Furax. So make sure you guys build a, sec a separate Furax so you can use that and build your Nucks. Your Knuckles. F fucking stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> Time to build is 24 hours, and if you want to rush, it'll be 35 Platinum. Alright guys, those are the ways you get all of the Arcwing weapons in Warframe currently. Those are all the ones that are out right now. I'm sure eventually they'll make some more. So maybe in the near future, I'll make an updated video of doing this and telling you guys how to get the parts. If they change or if anything else happens, I'll let you guys know for sure. Thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe today to join the Feline Pack if you guys are new to the channel. And I will most definitely see you guys for the next video. Leave a comment for another Warframe video you guys want me to do. And I'll see what I can do. Have an awesome day. Stay sexy. And peace out. Rathbone's blueprint can be obtained in the blue... Oh my fuck! The blade can be obtained in the parent sequence offering. The blade can be obtained in the syndicate. The blade can be obtained in the parent sequence offering. Fuck! The blade can... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. All of the parts, 12 hours and 50... <laughs> shit. <laughs> the Fluxus blueprint can only be attained in the Latino Lab research. Ugh, fuck! The Wrathblown <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs>